Hey guys, so this is the facility, the bathroom, the shower, and this is the toilet. And this is my room. Yeah. Okay, and this is the box where they have all my stuff. This is the sheets. Um, trying to figure that out. And let's see what else they have. They gave me some towels, some ramen, some napkins, some house slippers, um, TP, some cups, coffee, shower gel, laundry soap, toothpaste, wet wipes, gloves. This is the trash bag. And they also have like a little laundry thing in case I wanna wash my clothes. Okay, right, so this is my dinner for day one. I have soup, rice, and this little lunch box. I honestly can't tell what any of these are. This is obviously kimchi, some mushroom, fish maybe, dumplings. This is breakfast. They gave us rice porridge with abalone, ABC juice, cheese rolls, apples. They gave us two slices. I ate one already. And then some milk. Hey guys, so this is my lunch. I have some, I can just tell that it's like egg soup, rice, and then pork cutlet, some meat. I don't know what any of these are. Well, of course you have kimchi. This kimchi is like a must. They gave us some snacks and some royal milk tea. I didn't film breakfast today, but this is lunch. Seaweed soup, beef, chapche. Yeah, some veggies and I don't know what that is. Oh, and they gave us coffee and these crackers, amazing. Hey guys, welcome back to my vlog. I thought I would just do a little talking segment because I know I've been filming some of my food, not all, but some, because some days I get a little bit bored slash hungry and I just want to eat my food. Crazy things have happened in this quarantine facility. So my shoes went missing and I'm like, did someone steal them? That's so crazy because it's an ensuite apartment. So I'm sharing an apartment with three other people. Not the right conditions for stealing. It's not like we're gonna, we can leave. And we're still stuck in quarantine for another six days. See, I called the manager, like the person who like manages this entire like quarantine system. I was like, hey, my stuff went missing. Um, I'm not saying someone stole it, but then I was wondering if they could help me resolve the issue. And they were like, actually, everything that happens within the apartment has to be solved by yourself. I decided to write a little note, uh, put it up on our door because everyone gets meals. And then all of a sudden, this woman is like, hey, whoever lost her shoes, like, please come out. She was like, hey, I accidentally threw away your shoes. I saw these shoes when I first came in. I was the first person to come into this apartment. So I assumed someone left it there, like the previous quarantiners left it there. And I was like, I was the first one in and those shoes were mine. And she's like, oh, oh my God, I'm so sorry. She apologized. But her logic personally for me makes no sense. Like, why were they still there for three days if she saw them? If she thought there were um, shoes that were left behind, why didn't she throw them away the first day or the first two days? Second of all, like, why throw it away? It's not like you're leaving the apartment. It's not like it's her apartment. Like, why is she touching things and throwing things away? It doesn't mess with her day. She's in her room all day. Like, why is she messing around with shoes that are in the front porch? It's like, if it was in her room or like if it was in the bathroom, in the public area, like, it makes sense, but it's in the shoe area and it doesn't impact her. So like, and these are good shoes. Like, why didn't she ask, do they belong to anyone? I'm sure she noticed there's four rooms in here. And then she gave me like these like cheap slides. And she's like, you can wear those. I'm very like unconfrontational. And I guess we still have a couple of few days left. So I was really nice about it. I was like, yeah, it's fine, whatever. Yeah, misunderstandings can happen. But for me, it's just like we're in a COVID facility. So I would assume like our apartment to have been sanitized and cleaned out. I would assume that any trash and belongings left behind here would be thrown out before the next person. So if I saw like an item, I would assume that it is someone's item from the from the current cycle so i'm just a little bit confused 
So this has me thinking like, what if she actually stole it and said she threw them away? But it's fine. She gave me shoes to wear, which it's fine. The only reason I really wanted those back was because I needed shoes to wear to go home. I'm just gonna give it a bit of the doubt because I hate making assumptions and I hate um, accusing people without proof. You know, maybe she really did throw them away. Yeah, so if you're quarantining in a shared facility, don't bring designer shoes. Anyway, with the quarantine facility, I just wanted to talk to you guys about what is there. Um, it might differ from facility to facility, but um, yeah, we get three meals a day and um, they are Korean style toshida. Can't order outside food, so you can't use delivery app. People from outside can send you it and but they can't send you like fresh food so they can't send you like cooked like home cooked food or like fruits and stuff like that it has to be like packaged food um because i know like other quarantine places like hong kong like if you're quarantining in a hotel you can have family members bring you up actual food and all of like home cooked meals and fresh fruit stuff like that nope the food has to be packaged like snacks and stuff that's okay they give you so three toilet snacks per day with snacks and drinks and they're not too bad some pochadak i don't really love um especially because i'm very um particular about my meat dishes i am very sensitive to smell and texture of my meat me personally i love a wide variety of different meals not just rice soup and korean style side dishes i kind of like yogurt and i like i like western breakfast and like western food at times they do give you some Americano packets, um, six cup noodles, six bottles of water. For quarantine, twice a day you have to record your body temperature, your blood oxygen, as well as blood pressure, and they give you all the machines to do that. I guess the pros facility is that it has good Wi-Fi, um, it has a mini fridge. Um, and it comes with like a lot of amenities like kettle, hair dryer, um, toilet paper, and obviously the cons are it's tiny dorm room. Um, this could differ from facility to facility. You're sharing this apartment with three other people. Personally, for me, it goes against the premise, the DNA of this virus will be sharing like bathrooms and thirdly the food comes cold this is one thing that was the i think the most concerning part maybe because it's winter and the transportation from the kitchen to the quarantine facility is a long way and they sent us a porridge and they sent another one today i was like why did they give us this when there's no microwave in our apartment and the kettle is too small for me to put it in today we got this but this time I felt it and it was a little bit warmer, like slightly warm. So I realized this must have also been heated up, but I didn't realize because it was cold by the time I came here. And I was so confused. Everything's lukewarm. And the panchan, like the lunchbox, toshirak is cold. But I hope this gave you guys an insight into my quarantine um, facility experience. It's honestly better than I thought it would be. My number one recommendation would be to bring your own toiletries like shampoo, conditioner, body wash because they don't give you enough and I don't know if they replenish it but also the quality sucks. So if you're a girl and you have long hair, I highly recommend to bring your own shampoo, conditioner, body wash. I think that's it. Um, I'm back home. <laughs> I'm done with my quarantine in the facility. It was around a week, but I still have three more days of quarantine left. They basically thought that I'm no longer contagious. I feel like I've gained a few pounds. I wanna eat some salad because I feel like I need to do some damage control. I literally ate ramen like four times in, in seven days, which is quite problematic. Well, you guys can see how chubby my cheeks are, but yeah. But it's good to be home.